Now on UK Gold, our Doctor Who weekend is enough to titillate a Time Lord or excite an Exelon. William Hartnell stars in episode 5 of The Chase. So, this horror channel. Showing my adventures. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> yes, very, very interesting. But only if the links and my adventures are introduced by that lovely, um, what's his name? Eh, uh, what's the boy's name? Yet I, I, Glenn Allen. Yes, that's it. <laughs> in 1969, they had inherited a show that was losing viewers and facing the axe. But the creative team of producer Barry Letts and script editor Terence Dix, together with their charismatic doctor John Pertwee, had revived the ratings and restored the show to the status of appointment TV. Catching up with dance guru Moby, the Ozone's at ten past seven on BBC Two. Now, Doctor Who. Hi. Now look, I know there's something going on and I know you're in on it. I haven't quite worked out what yet, but I do know that you've been too busy watching what's going on behind me this week instead of what I've been saying. It's time for Doctor Who now. And episode four of The Sun Makers. So settle down and put your feet up as we join the Doctor and Leela fighting for their lives. <laughs> Douglas Camfield was a television director, one of the many who brought TV drama series and serials to life in the 1960s, 70s and 80s. He died in 1984, aged just 52, and it's now 28 years since his last major work was transmitted. Yet for TV professionals and enthusiasts, and Doctor Who fans in particular, he's still remembered as standing out among his peers for the energy and lightness of touch he brought to his productions. With the application of the vidfire technique to bring back the video look to the studio sequences, the DVD restoration team has now returned Episode 3 of Planet of the Daleks to its original full-colour status. That little machine of yours has quite an effect. And it's a measure of the project's success that the difference in quality not unlike the inhabitants of the planet Spyridon, is almost completely invisible. <laughs> yes, the time-space visualizer is um, very useful. <laughs> Glen Allen, <laughs> give that boy a job. 